Although Paul Hamilton for iPad Monthly here. We're going to look at a travel journal today or more of a kind of a, I guess, a virtual tour. Um, so we're going to jump into two apps today. We're going to have a, we'll start by jumping into Google Earth, which I think, to be honest, Google Earth is one of the most underutilized apps and one of the most beautiful to use on the iPad. So um, we're going to use this travel journal today just to look at um, your own country. My country is Australia and start to look at kind of surrounding areas. It comes into the curriculum quite a lot about the relationships between countries that are kind of neighboring countries to you. So um, what I'm going to do is just start by kind of zooming into Australia a little bit here, finding Australia on the map. I think it's important for kids to actually look on the map and don't necess not necessarily type straight into the different places at the top here. Um, but just look at the globe and just look at where we are in the world. So I'm just going to take a screenshot there looking at our country. Um, and then we're going to look at a little bit north here and start to look at a travel journal that looks at a surrounding place. Um, in this case, it's going to be Indonesia. So um, as I actually look here, um, we're going to kind of zoom in a little bit to Indonesia. We can actually start to look at the kids actually might research the distance between our country and the neighboring countries. Um, so I might take another screenshot there. And then I might kind of come in a little bit to Indonesia here and start to look at, we could look at Jakarta, we could look at Bali, looking at Denpasar, um, looking at where the actual airport is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, uh, looking at Denpasar City there. You might look at the airport, maybe start to look at Bali, look at surrounding areas of Bali. Maybe they can look at past experiences where they've actually been, taking some screenshots there. And then start to actually build that knowledge and actually bring it into a different app. So we're going to use Explain Everything for this app. A fantastic uh, app to actually build knowledge. As you can see there, it starts off with a blank canvas. I'm actually in the um, the simple user interface. So I'm actually in the younger ones. Uh, you can see there that most of my tools have actually gone. Um, and to actually change that, it's really, really easy to do. I just get out of that, go up to my cogs, turn off the simple interface, and then get back into my document. You can see there I've got a lot more tools to actually use. And I can start building my travel journal. So I might actually start by just actually putting some text in and just say, okay, this is going to be my travel uh, journal. And it could be my virtual one. I can kind of play around with the different things. I might just double tap on there and make that uh, a little bit smaller, my little text box, and then just hit my ticky box up there. And then I can just simply start building some um, actually knowledge. So I might just bring in a couple of those shots that I've just done. So I might just actually go with the there, uh, make that smaller. I might just bring that in there. So that's Australia. And then I've actually bring in my kind of my closer Australia one there. And I might actually bring in my Indonesia. Now, I could do some cropping as well, which is probably something that you can talk to your kids about with Explain Everything and actually bring in and uh, the kind of the editing skills as well. So I'll just bring in the Indonesia one and I might actually just uh, crop this one just so you got a little bit of a feel of, um, and I'm just clicking my hand over and dragging just so you can kind of see that. I might just go down to here and press done and you can see there that I've actually kind of, um, I guess, zoomed in on a type of area. And then we can start to actually look at um, different text. We can actually start to look at um, the different countries and how they're different to ours. We could actually start to bring in some text. So I might actually go to um, a new slide there and actually start to build in some text about an area that I'm actually studying online. Um, so in this case, it could be um, I'm looking at uh, different aspects of, let me just make that a little bit bigger so you can see. In this case, it's different places that I might actually be um, uh, learning about. For example, some religious temples that are, exist in Indonesia and how they're different to our temples or similar. Uh, so you can look at those sort of things. And before you know it, you've got this fantastic travel journal looking at different parts of the, um, the country that you're studying, your surrounding neighbours. Um, but you the kids have really got a really great idea in regard to where those places are in the world because they're actually looking at it on our virtual maps here. So once again, you could take a screenshot there. You could actually bring in some things like um, some distances. Um, you could actually lock the images. Let's do that quickly. So I'm going to take a little bit of a screenshot of Australia and Indonesia there. And I might jump in to explain everything and I might do a little bit of a comparison on distance. So I'll just create a new slide. I'll bring in that slide that I've just done. 
And what I might show you just quickly is I'm going to press done, but then I'm going to press the I and I'm going to press the image and I'm actually going to set it as a background. So now when I try and move it, it's actually not going to move. And what I might do is actually bring in a pen tool. Let's go with a red and actually just draw in maybe where I am compared to where you're actually going. So you could put in things like flight paths. You could put in the actual distance from um, Brisbane or Sydney to Jakarta. And you could start to really get some great research, but actually um, using our multimedia aspects to really build that knowledge. And I think we do build knowledge by creating content more than just reading and trying to acquire knowledge through consumption. So this is a just a great little activity to start to look at a travel journal, places around the world, actually getting our kids to build knowledge instead of just consuming the research, but actually put it into some sort of project or an assignment. So Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.